In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use Photoshop to create a black and white image and add some features that will enhance the overall look and feel of the black and white image. So what I've done here is I have taken a picture that was shot in St. Augustine and I've already went ahead and selected the sky because I'm thinking that I probably need some clouds here. So if we'll take a look here we can see where I've already taken out the sky and what I need to do is go ahead and get a sky that I've already selected that I um, have and so I'm going to bring that over and put that sky here and let's move that around a little bit so we get a real natural feel for the sky I think that probably is going to work very well for us and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select black and white from the adjustments panel and what that will do is it will bring up a panel to let me change all of my different colors, such as the red highlights. I can bring the reds up a little bit. I can change my yellows and work on that with the greens. So I can select each of these channels, kind of bring those up a little bit. There's some blues. I'm going to darken my blues just a little bit. And let's see the magentas. It's not changing things too much. Go back to my yellows. Bring that up about like that. So now things are looking a little bit better. I can also use my presets. I can go to filters. I'm not liking that filter too much. Okay, so I think I kind of like my custom settings that I had made before. So let's go back in there and change the blues a little bit. There we go. Now it's looking pretty good. I'm going to add a layer to this layer, and I'm going to add some highlights by using the gradient tool. If you'll notice, I have the gradient. It's going from black to transparent. I'm just going to pull out on the corners here a little bit like this then I'm going to go to my opacity layer and bring that opacity back a little bit so it's not so overwhelming I just kind of want to give it a little highlight okay so that's now starting to look pretty good what I want to do is to highlight this little section of the fort and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to take my elliptical tool and I'm just going to go over that area right there. I'm going to move that around just a little bit so that I can get it right where I want it. Let's fill it first. We're going to fill this with white. And if you'll notice that when I made my elliptical tool I gave it a feather. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that around a little bit about right there. You can even expand that down just a touch. Think about like that's going to work really well for what I'm looking for. Okay, now I'm going to go to the opacity levels and bring that down. I'm going to bring it down actually quite a bit. Probably about 20. Okay, I'm going to apply that, and we'll see there where it just applied a little bit of light to the tower, to the guard tower area. Now, it's looking a little bit better. So this is how I would use the black and white within Photoshop. Good luck.